Coach, thank you much. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Los Angeles Rams. Two weeks have come and gone. It's off to week three, and we're underway on EA Sports. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Three, two, three. From the gun, Winston. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Aaron Donald in there for sack number 127 in his great career, moving him past Kansas City Hall of Famer Derek Thomas on the all-time list. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Uh, no run call here. They'll look to throw instead. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. So no sack. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it'll still bring up a fourth down. Well, the defensive guys won't be real happy because there won't be a sack on this play because he did get back to the line of scrimmage. But what a job they did overall. Hemmed him in and gave him nowhere to go with the football. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And the Rams are going to start this drive in great field position as they take over. carry now for Todd Gurley and down to the 44 five yards that time and it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play while the training staff takes a peek we'll take a break the first down run got five here's second and five They'll run. This is Daryl Henderson. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. From the gun, here's Goff. They'll find Everett there, complete. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. 
And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now gone. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. I think it's okay there they didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Back to throw, gone. Now that'll be caught by Cup. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. It's a loss of two, now third down. Now that was well defended, and as a cornerback, what you're taught when you see a wide receiver screen, either you get underneath the play before the blocking forms, or you're going to have to fight your way through it by getting through some blocking. That was a really nice play there. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. To the air again. Gone. This is caught. It's Cooks. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. You think back to the Super Bowl against New England, the Rams never even got into the red zone in that game. And now here they are in the red zone on their opening drive with a first down. They'll run here with Henderson. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. A good run of six yards there. Gets him closer to the goal line with second down coming up. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll look to run with Henderson. And he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. Daryl Henderson, his second touchdown on the season as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys a little bit jumpy. Yeah, you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. Just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went three and out. And now they have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. And again, this time to the tailback. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. 
So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Hey man, hey man. Watch the boot, watch the boot. They go play action. Winston. That's caught by the big tight end, O.J. Howard. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Well, he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. 58, right over there, right over there. Yeah, yeah. Mike, 58, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jazz, watch that, watch that. He's crashing. He's checking crap. From the shotgun, it's Winston. And he fires one that's intercepted. John Johnson with the INT. This defense looking like they have come to play the pick six, and just like that, it's 13 0 early on. Well, go back with me to our training camp visits. What do we hear during these drills? Pass. Pass. Ball. Ball's in the air. And then my favorite. Oski. That's the interception. <laughs> that means everybody finds someone to block, block them legally, stay on your feet, and they get it done. Touchdown. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Winston connecting with Howard. A big pickup there. 18 yards and a Buccaneer first. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six foot six inch target. It is indeed. The quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six six target that they've got in him. They really do. And it reminds me of a one great tight end. And the pressure gets there, and Winston goes down. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get up field and get after the quarterback. It's been such an impressive first half to get that lead. To try again after the sack. Winston, open man is Howard, the tight end. Well, they'll get nine there as that sets them up better for third down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. I'm going to run you over. I'm going to run you over. 58 for Mike. 58. Let's go, defense. On third down, Winston. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 43. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot and they connected there and picked up the first down. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game, maybe establish the run? I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one, and what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled. And he is going to go down. He will be sacked 
on the final play of this first quarter. 14-0 to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Winston needing a big play after the sack as he leads the Bucks up on third and long. Here's Winston. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. And he may want to track down that football because that's interception number one on his career. You're saying that's going into the trophy case? I put it there. Yeah, no doubt about it. That's when you ask the equipment guys to make sure they hold it for you after the game. But if you play in the back seven on defense, that's part of your job, finding ways to take the ball away from the other team. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Devontae Parker, the intended receiver, and it's second down. yard line with no running backs in the backfield to help pass protect all the receivers in their patterns he's going to be hot routes if they sense a blitz or pressure on the quarterback they've got to be prepared to break routes off early and get the football in this case ah uh, never even had a chance they popped the ball free in the backfield throwing to start the drive but that went incomplete didn't have a receiver open downfield as it turned out couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Well, it was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. Winston needing a big play after the sack as he leads the Bucks up on third and long. Working out of the gun, Winston. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3. to three. So a good snap, good hold, and right down the middle. Never in doubt. Just the way you used to hit them, partner. You mean like uh, kicking the ball? Exactly. Well, that was in high school. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't care what level you hit them, they go through. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield and punch in the end zone without turning it over. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Devontae Parker was the intended receiver, and it's third down. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. A shotgun snap for gone. He's got a man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. On third and 10, they go flying past the marker and get nearly 40 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They go play action with Gurley. Now gone. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. 
Call that a very strong gain of 24. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage and go up and get the... Looking for Cooks and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 15. He's at the 50. The 30. The 20. 10. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for a Buccaneer TD. Now, I don't know who all is to blame there, but I love seeing pick sixes. Nothing like seeing someone pluck it out of the air and go the other way and see people try to change directions. Hard to do. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Here we go, deep, all day, defense. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. It's third down and six. The Rams on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and six. Here's gone. Oh, he was looking for Parker, but it's intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it, and he will return this one to the 30-yard line. He was looking for Parker that time. So first and 10 now from the 30. Following the interception, Winston. This is caught. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. That one goes for 30 yards. Charles, you talk so much about quick change plays. There's one right there. You get the turnover, and boom, hit him with a big one. And defenses plan for this all the time. They work on it in practice. But in the middle of the game, when that quick change takes place, oftentimes guys aren't as focused as they need to be. They come out here in the eye. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. They'll try to run this one in. And he's in. Touchdown, Buccaneers. A great effort there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Bucs have taken the lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And it's now 17-14. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Oh, 
The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Goff now looking to throw. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And this is caught at the 20. Goff finding Cooks on a big play. 58 yards. The last drive he threw the pick, but he's not shy. He's going downfield again there. And you can't be, because if you back off after throwing an interception, your whole game plan just goes right out the window, and it makes things easier for a defense. And you and I both know, there's a quarterback in this league that's any good that doesn't throw an interception occasionally, and they usually bounce back in a big way. I've seen guys throw five and still find a way to win the game in the end. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. And a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone. He's trying to get a second touchdown already in the first half. They had that one earlier. was bidding for a second. They come out with one back and three tight ends. From the two now, second and goal. Goff going to give this one to Henderson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He lost two there, and it's third down. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is the time you go play action. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Brandon Cooks, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Rams are going to jump back in front. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This fielded at the two. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The Bucs take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match in a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. And he'll give it here to his running back. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. The Bucks on third down. Just one for five to this point. Here it's third and three. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Coming up 
up in a couple of minutes. We'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. They'll run it now out of the gun. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Another example right there of how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating it. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they're bringing your tight end, keep him in. Your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. It's Devin White, the linebacker. And he will take this down to the 10-yard line. That's now a second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man-to-man? -man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. And a short pick up there down to about the nine. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here. Not even a thought, is yeah, it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. Winston from the gun on third down. And oh, Jameis intercepted a third time. Snags it for the pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. Well, what's the plan of attack here? Very late second quarter, and look where the ball is. Yeah, a bad spot for you. But the defense has all three timeouts. So what you're telling your team is ball security number one. It's not all on the running backs if you decide to run the football. That offensive line has got to protect them and wedge out some space because you can't just kneel. They take three timeouts. They're going to get the ball back in good field position with a chance to put points on the board. You've got to try and get a first down and run out this first half. Goff now, 9 of 15 throwing the ball, 60% at its first and 10. Out of the gun, Goff. Now left, he's got it to Everett. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Now gone. That's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Goff throwing again. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. Results in a fourth 
So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Back deep is Tavon Austin. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Yeah, that'll cross midfield here, not by much. Out of bounds just on the other side of the 50. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Brandon Graham credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. Well, partner, we know they came out of the locker room down on the scoreboard, but I will guarantee you the defensive side of the ball got super emotional. They can come out and play with aggressiveness, with fury, because they don't have to be quite as precise, and it paid off for them on that play, didn't it? Sure did. Excellent play, really setting the tone for this third quarter. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. It's Ryan Kerrigan getting the sack. Now that's the way to start the second half. Back-to-back -back sacks. Whatever the halftime speech was, I hope they recorded it. They're not ready for this, man. They're not ready for this. They still playing soccer. Y'all playing the wrong football. Mike's 54. Mike's 54. On third down, here's Henderson. He's got room to run past the 20. And they will finally get him down to the 27-yard line. A big pickup, 18 yards, but they still stop him well short of the marker. This offense really put themselves in a tough spot on first and second down and needing long yardage to try and pick up a first down. And they ended up getting a great run. Explosive, picked up nice yardage. You don't expect to be in this situation on fourth down. But guess what? It all started with what happened on first and second down. Really put them behind the eight ball. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves them with a second and three. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now it's Carson. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. Now a handoff here to his running back. And some room to run now. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. A big play there with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Buccaneers have once again taken the lead. 
Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. This is taken at his four. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. At the 32-yard line. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. You can't block me. You can't block me. To throw is gone. They'll find Everett there, complete. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. Let's go, tight end. Let's go right here now. Goff on third down. That's going to be complete to his tight end, Everett. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A big 30-yard play on third. First down. First down. Hey, 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 hey. From the gun, here's gone. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And it's caught for a Rams touchdown by Brandon Cooks. Brandon Cooks with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year as his guys are able to regain the lead. Zerline good with a PAT, and that will make this a four-point game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. To throw, Winston. And Woods has it complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 39 yards the distance covered on the catch and run. First down, Tampa Bay. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. There to make the tackle, Samson Abuka. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple of yards out of it. Because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Ready, 
from the 35 on second down. Winston, and that is incomplete here. It was Mika Fitzpatrick that time to break that one up. There are a good number of coaches at any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. Off the play fake, Winston. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Aaron Donald, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. My man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game, but this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now gone. Dancing to his left. He'll try and run it. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. Kerrigan, his second sack of the night. That's his second sack of the game in the best defensive ends. They do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them, what moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. An unbelievable punt there. We're talking 70-plus yards. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. The Bucs offense set to begin their next possession. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Now this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Now they try the right side here. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Back now in Los Angeles. It's Buccaneer football, but they've got work to do. They find themselves behind here to start the fourth quarter. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Going to give this time to the tailback. A gain of three, second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Jameis to throw it. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams defense. Aaron Donald make that now eight sacks for him on the season. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Winston needing a big play after the sack as he leads the Bucks up on third and long. From the gun, Winston staying on his feet. And this is going to be incomplete. 
They went with the dime look that time on defense, just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. And he gets this away, angled for the sideline with a lot behind it. Wow. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is, at the 6-yard line. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? Check, 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 check. They'll run with Henderson here to begin the drive. And a short gain here as he gets it up, only to about the six. There to stop him on the tackle, Jack Sitchie. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Now a handoff here to his running back. He's going to have the first down pass the 20. And finally taken down to the 25-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. First and 10. They'll get this out in a hurry to Parker. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. At the 26-yard line. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the leg's still there. This has been a tough game. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Going up top for Cup. That's caught at the 25. And he finally goes down, but not before reaching the 21. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively, a backbreaker. On first and 10, gone. That's taken in by Henderson. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Second down, it's Henderson. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they've got it first and goal. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. A great play there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken at the three. Then it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Bucs take over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line.
The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the tread expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Corey Littleton there on the tackle. Defense is always talking about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for. And it'll bring up third down. Tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 14 yards there and a Buccaneer first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He started out having some troubles back in the first half connecting with his receivers. Really hasn't gotten a whole lot better. Yeah, he's at less than 50%, and you and I both know that just won't do. So I would think about spreading things out, putting it on the receivers, make them win those one-on-one -on -one battles on the perimeter and find their way open. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make it third and 13. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he'll get this up near midfield, but that's still a few yards shy of the first down. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Three, two, three. Winston to throw for it on four. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The Bucks try it on fourth down, but come up empty. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Henderson now on first and ten. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. They run once more with Henderson. And he's able to carve out about six there, down to the 37. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. That's going to be their second. They'll be left with one more plus the two-minute warning, and we'll be back. The Rams on third down. They're hitting at 60%, six out of ten thus far. This will be third and five. On third down, it's Henderson. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. The Bucs forced to use their third and final timeout. 
So that will leave them with no timeouts left. Still plenty of time on the clock. We'll see how that affects things here in this fourth quarter. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And that will get the lead up to 14. So they settle for just the three. But clearly right now, anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off. But it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. The Bucs take over first and ten at their own 24-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here, because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened there. you think there. that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense, because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. He was looking for Chris Godwin that time. Third down here. the 35. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucks have a first down. Clock management definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Play action now. Winston. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Aaron Donald in there to get him, and on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. The throw over the middle taken in, and he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. On first and ten, Winston. He's going to let it fly. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. It's a big play, Winston to Evans. And even 40 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Taylor Rapp with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. And still a little bit of time left, but the defense can't stop the clock. So three kneel down should be enough to finish this one off. And they'll take a knee as the clock ticks down toward 50 seconds to go. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Goff with a kneel down here, and that should put a conclusion to this one. A loss of a yard. It's fourth down. So the L.A. Rams with a victory here. And you've got to say, C.D., it was the defense who had a big part in the W. Oh, without question. When you force four turnovers... You get to enjoy the spoils of victory, don't you? It's rare that you force four turnovers and lose a ball game. That's almost unheard of. They carried this one home, 
He talked about celebrating with each other and being in a position where going forward, all you think about is, let's get five next time. They're going to be on the hunt. So for L.A., it's back-to-back -back victories now after the week one defeat as they move to two and one. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for the Buccaneers, they too will exit with a two and one record. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gaudin. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.